Hey Paul, this is Aaron with Nissan of Omaha. I know it's kind of noisy in here, but I thought um, if we did a quick video of some, some basic charging protocols and some what certain lights on the dash and everything look like, um, maybe we can try to kind of get to the bottom of this here. So this is your car that I'm in here. So obviously, you know, you hop in it, you know, here it is off. You've got your power button. Now you can hit this a couple different ways. It's almost like when you used to put the key in the ignition and turn it and you'd have three spots where you've got, you know, accessory on and then you turn the last one and it turns the starter. So I don't have my foot on the brake. If I just press it once, that's kind of the on setting. So my center screen will come on. I still don't have anything on the driver's display. This thing here is the driver's display. If I press it once more, then I get all my lights and everything's on, okay? So I've had it plugged in to our level two over there. I'll walk you through this here too. I've had it plugged in all night. Um, we've got a full battery, so we've got a whole 162 miles of charge here. So I know the car is charging. Um, what I wanna do here is kinda of walk through a couple things with you. So. We hit it once, it kind of just turned the light on. We hit it again without pushing the brake, and then it turned the screen on. To, to drive, you have to have your foot on the brake, and you've got to press, okay? And then the speedometer needle swings up and back, and then here we are, we've got our menu. So this menu here, we can navigate using these buttons on the steering wheel. So basically, you've got these four little dots to the left of the charge and you can navigate through those by pressing on this arrow and you can see a bunch of different information so it shows you the battery capacity is full what our range is this little meter if you've seen this as you're driving there's a little needle here that'll swing clockwise and counterclockwise based on how economically you're driving as it swings counterclockwise in this direction that's showing your regenerative braking basically okay so then I can come over to the right, this is what we were talking about the other day, and now I'm pressing this right arrow and I'm navigating through some different buttons. So again, you know, the reason I'm doing this in a video is you can pause it and go back and look at it and, and all that good stuff. So, um, so I want to come down to EV settings, I'm going to press OK, and here's what I wanted to look at. Charge timer. This needs to be off, okay. Full charge has priority, that's fine. That needs to be off. You got a couple climate control timers that you can do here. And we've got it set to charge at 6.6 .6 kilowatts, which is the highest level of charge. Um, the other thing that you might do is put it here on the 1.4 because if you're just plugging it into the wall, you know, it'll still charge, but it won't charge at the 6.8, you know, 6.6 .6 kilowatt. You know, it'll only do about 1.4 because that's a household outlet. So what it's showing us here is, you know, AC current from 100 to 127 volt, which is, you know, the average house, depending on when it was built, um, you know, that's what you're gonna have. So when you get that, that bigger outlet installed, we wanna be here you know, at the 3.6 is what I would recommend because it makes your battery last the longest because you're getting a quick time to charge because you're charging at a higher rate in terms of kilowatt hours, um, but you're not charging it at the highest rate, which can, you know, degrade the battery faster. I mean, basically that's what we're getting at. So um, that's what we had this set tonight was here. So um, the only thing I want to do, I want to make sure all these are off. Just turn everything off here because the reason I'm turning this all off and I'm doing this with these buttons, again, this is how I'm navigating, so down. So if I turn it on, okay. I'm sorry for the, the glare, you can see it's kind of highlighted. And then I can navigate through this menu. I can hit okay again and change when it's gonna charge. But it sounds like for you, what might work best is just whenever you plug it in is when we want it to charge. That's what we want. We just want it to charge right away no matter what. So I'm gonna turn both of these off and then I'm gonna come back. This is your back button. 
in these screens. So anytime you want to go one back, you press this little kind of horseshoe shaped arrow, okay? Couple other things set up here. Okay, so we're all good there. All right, so I'm gonna turn the car off. So here's our here's our charging charging process. Turn it off, okay? I'm gonna unlock the charging door, which is this right here. This button turns that charging timer off, which we don't have a charging timer on right now, so. But if you did, you could hit this to turn it off if you just wanted the car to charge right away. But again, the way that we just set it in here, we don't need to mess with that, it's just there. So we're gonna hit this to open the door. Paul, I apologize for the noise here. It's kind of noisy back in the detail shop. So, flip our lid. We've got our two different charging ports here. This is the normal port that you're gonna use with the cable you have at home. This is called a CHADMO. This is a fast charge. You're not gonna see this at home, but if you're at a charging station somewhere, like at a Walmart, they might have one of those. So we're gonna open him up. Plug him in. And then I've got blinking lights. So these lights, kind of what we were talking about the other day. So you've got three of them. You've got one, two, three. If the battery's completely depleted, there's no charge left, this will be the first one that starts blinking. Once it gets charged to 30%, this stays solid, and then this one starts blinking. Same thing, we go another 30%, this will stay solid, and then this one starts blinking. So we're almost full. So this is just that it's charging right now. Now, I sent over, uh, I sent Terrence over a sheet with what these different lights mean if, for instance, you know, there's an issue with charging, they'll blink in a different sequence. But what we should see for normal charging is just solid, you know, blinking and then solid, blinking and then solid, depending on how much the battery's charged, and then blinking and eventually solid. Once it's fully charged, these will go out. These lights will go out. So for right now, it's just testing and charging the battery, and they are blue. I know it's the glare from the windshield here is making this not the easiest thing to see, but you can see those three blue lights right here, okay? That's what we're looking at. So, um, from everything I can see, every, everything should be all good here. I don't see anything that's wrong with the car, because um, it is, it is fully charged. Um, I'm gonna give you a call here sometime later today and try to kind of figure out, you know, make sure that our, our cable is good here. Um, and from everything I can see, this cable is good as well. Um, I'm gonna test that here today too, but I'll be giving you a shout here in a minute. Uh, once I get this uploaded, I'm gonna send this over to you. So I hope this helps. Thanks, Paul.